What criteria do composers use to choose the key of a song? I would like to know what criteria composers use when choosing the key of a song. In the case of music composed for orchestra or, in general, for instruments with limited tessitura or tuned in a certain key, I understand that it may be more convenient to choose one key than another. In the piano, however, even though there are no such limitations, great composers often chose more complicated keys than necessary. I think that this would be the case, for example, of the third prelude of the first book of Bach's Well-Tempered Clavier, which is in C-sharp major seven altered notes, and could have been written in the inharmonic key of D-flat major five flats, or just transposing it only one semitone up, in D major, with only two alterations. So, given that a song, when transposed one semitone up or down, is IMHO, practically indistinguishable from the original for the vast majority of musicians, what is the reason for choosing one key over another? Some keys are easier for some instruments. Wind instruments are generally more comfortable to play in flat keys while strings tend to be more comfortable in sharp keys. There's one orchestral piece I forget what, but someone will doubtless say in the comments where the composer made a point of picking a key where G, D, A and E are all sharp so that the string players would be unable to use open strings. Apparently it's not uncommon for players performing this to tune a half-step sharp so they can get their open strings back. As noted in the comments on the question, the well-tempered clavier was written to demonstrate the ability to play in any key which is another reason why so many different keys are present in that collection. Finally, there's some belief among some composers that different keys have different emotional resonances e.g., https colon slash slash legernote.com slash blog slash interesting slash musical dash key dash characteristics dash emotions slash Personally, I tend to view this to be roughly as valid as horoscopes i.e., not at all, although it can be fun to encode this sort of information in a piece regardless.